Okay. Here we are on overtime. Uh, these are the questions from people. Uh, is uh, We wanted to talk about this on the show. I'm glad somebody asked this. Is Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill designed to trap Democrats into saying they support teaching young children about sexuality? Is the question, but we can broaden that to anything about that. I mean, I was reading about it today. It's, uh, it's I mean, if people don't know, this is something DeSantis is about to sign. Yeah. And I guess it's a reaction to Republicans who feel that there's too much talk in lower grades. I think it's only, they're talking about kindergarten to third grade. So right. we're talking about yeah. very young kids who, you know, as always with this stuff, you know, there's, there's, there's not like there's no kernel of truth in that maybe kids that young shouldn't be thinking about sex at all. I, I don't think it's <laughs> specific. I think don't say, it's not like, you're not allowed to literally not say gay. But they, they just don't want teachers talking about it. They think it's the province of parents. What do you think? What do you think, Frank? I'm curious. I mean, that sounds reasonable on the face of it. I mean, I'm, right. not, I'm not, my main concern as a gay man who advocates for gay rights is not that second graders know who Harvey Milk is. That is not the key. Uh, that is the not rest. the key to LGBTQ <laughs> equality. But, but I mean, I, I also question. I mean, does this really need to be at the top of these politicians' lists? Right. I mean, this is a total. It's this is no. It's a wedge. This is this is this is not this is not going to improve Floridians' lives. This is not an urgent problem. This is a dodge. It's another culture war that's meant to score cheap, easy points rather than really solving Americans' problems. That's yeah. what. I mean. Well. Do you disagree? I disagree a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I think that um, I think that there is a class element to this. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm going to do no, what no. you just you're, you're, you just accuse everybody of doing, which is bringing their favorite thing. You're not going to talk about Bitcoin. Right. Though, right? No, not, not Bitcoin. No. Okay. No, I, this, this seat ejects if you talk about Bitcoin. You go like, oh, well, then talk about Bitcoin. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Um, no, I think that, um, that that Republicans are trying to position themselves as, um, first of all, the party of the working class, which is a little bit facetious, although a few are, are making inroads on economic issues, but also the party of, like, everyday Americans, average Americans, and parents, people who are not going to let parents, you know, who, who are going to represent parents who say, we deserve to have a say in our child's education and whether they go to school and what they're taught in school. And I don't think that that's really a culture war battle or a wedge issue. Parents are a constituency no. like the working class who deserve to have but, that representation. So I don't know if this, I read the we, bill but, also. But seriously, do we know that this was an enormous problem no, pervasive but, in Florida schools? No, but like the, this, this is what This I, reeks to me of something that happened on a few occasions and has been blown in. Well, the, I, 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 I don't, I don't no, know I about mean, that. I, the same thing with the race, with the CRT thing. Yeah. I, I feel like it's, it's disingenuous when the liberals say, you know, they, 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 we just want to teach history. Right. And, like, no one's against that. Well, I, I'm sure there are some fucking rednecks who are against that. But most reasonable people are not against realistically teaching history. It's not like you can't mention slavery. They're talking about something else that is going on. I've read too many reports, too many first-person reports from teachers who say, I can't go on teaching like this because this is insanity, what I'm doing in this classroom, separating kids by race and oppressors and non-oppressors, and they're little kids. It is going on. I don't know what is going on with the gender as much. Let me read what, something, what part of the bill. It says, the measure would, this is from CNN, would require districts to adopt procedures for notifying a student's parent if there is a change in the student's services or monitoring related to the student's mental, emotional, physical health or well-being. Okay, then it says something LGBTQ advocates argue could lead to some students being outed to their parents. That phrase struck me as odd. Like, outed to parents? Like, shouldn't parents know everything Anyway, the, the, yeah, the concept yeah. of without. Yeah, I, mean, that, that's like, I think that, um, but I think that fell out of the bill. I think that's actually no. no it's that, well, the one that I read yeah. right before the show was that the vast majority of the bill is about that. Is about parents' right to know if their child is identifying, changing the way that they're, you know, presenting. If the teacher's right. calling them by different name, this kind of thing. I which, think in California, it's the school has more of those rights than the parent. Well, that's right. not right. That's not. And that's right. Okay, great. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, that's not how everybody feels out here. It's like we need to protect the student from the parents with the school. 
the school and yeah, and that's that's a political winner. Yeah, right. right well, <laughs> oh, you should live out here I for know. a while. You'll, you'll see some crazy shit. Okay. So, <laughs> and yet, <laughs> as I always say, the climate is a disaster and the weather is delightful. <laughs> Frank, you write in your book about how we should be more open with our vulnerabilities, which you coined as the sandwich board theory. How can we create our own sandwich boards, both online and in real life? Your book is fantastic, by the way. Thank so you. My Thank you. I know my friend Carol Leifer. Yeah, we did an event last night. Yeah. She told me it was work great. Yeah. Awesome. I wish I could have been there, but I had to work on my day job. <laughs> well, I don't want to explain the whole sandwich board thing, but my basic point is that if we were all a lot more honest about who we were, who we are, you know, if we showed our full selves to the world and if we all looked for the fullness of everyone around us, we wouldn't lapse into the caricatures that we do. We wouldn't treat people as abstractions. You know, I, I love the beginning of the show. I'll mention it a second time because you all were talking about tribalism, which I think is the curse of our times it right is. now. Tribalism hinges on us not seeing each other as fully, full, full, multi-dimensional, fully fleshed human beings. It hinges on us seeing everybody as either pro or con, ally or enemy, friend or foe. People are more complicated than that. Life is more complicated than that. And we have lost any talent for nuance in this country. Well said. I can't, I can't top it, so I'm going to end it right there. Thank you, too. Thank you, audience. You were terrific.